<laughs> I like to start the week with a fail. Okay, hi you guys, I'm Beth Hoyt. This is Madden Channel Live. How are you? It's Monday, huh? Monday, grumble, grumble. Let me tell you how my morning started. Um, started fantastic with a continental breakfast. That's right. And there were multiple cereals involved. If you know me, which I think you do, if you watch, because I, I have kind of a problem with secrets, I tell them. Uh, anyways, a not so hidden secret is, is not so much that I love cereal, but I love multiple cereals in one bowl. And um, we just got some I, I can, to make it for you right now. So um, we're gonna do that, because I'm gonna show you how it's done. So we got some cereals. Um, and I'm gonna show you how you do this, this recipe. And I have, uh, this is not gonna be big enough. Let's use um, this one. This will be good. So I'll put this here, and I'll, this is how you do it. So you start off with something like cornflakes. You know, let's just get a good base, a good solid base. Blah, blah, boring, but it will be good to base it, you know? And then you're like, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll add some Special K because that, I'll lose weight as I eat Special K. That's how that works. And then you're like, actually, Special K sucks. And then you're like, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna frost those Special Ks, frosted flakes. So now you've got those three layers of flakes. That's a really good start. Then you need to start adding some fun. So let's add the corn pops, which this is, this is you know, this is kind of a bold decision to do that there because they get so soggy so quick. I maybe regret that. That was a fly by the seat of my pants. But look, they're a good source of fiber. <laughs> I don't think so. I wouldn't believe everything you read, kids. Then let's add some of this in, because it's like, yeah, I, I'm gonna gain some muscle, and maybe it'll work out later, and I'll need that. I'll need that, the frosted mini weights for sure. Party on one side, business in the back. And then you're like, let's just add this for, you know, for texture, snap, crackle, and pop, a little bit of fun, a little reminiscing on that one. Then you're like, we need two scoops of sugar-coated raisins. Two scoops in there, that's a lot of, let's cheat a little bit. Yep, sure, they're really sugary and don't taste like healthy at all, which is good. Crispix, just for fun, because um, they're, tri they're, you know, they're, they're two different colors, which is a, that's a fun, it's a fun thing. And then you really need, we need some color, and we need more sugar. So you, Toucan Sam says, what about me, what about me? And you're like, I hear you, I hear you. And then you go like this, and you just use your own hands to do that, because it's your cereal. You can put your hands in if you want it. You can go like this, it's yours. You can do whatever you want with it. And then, well, what'd you think was next? Orange juice and this? <laughs> no, milk. Let's get serious, you guys. And it's good that we have this, you know, full um, half gallon here because you really don't want, I want to see the top layer of milk on the cereal and have that so it floats a little bit like that. That's how much milk you want. And um, again, this is all up to however you want to do it. You know, it's, it's choose your own adventure with the cereal bar, but this is the right way, you know? And then you get a bite that includes one of each of the cereals. And then you're gonna to continue to host this live show after you take this bite. Mm. Okay, hold on a second. I recently heard you said two, 33 times to really digest it, so we're on like four right now. Five, six, seven, eight. It's almost gone. Nine, I did it in 10. Okay, anyway, that was, it could use some peanut butter. Anyway. And my, this morning, since it was a continental breakfast, it was free. If you don't count the $200 I spent to stay in the hotel. All right, let's look at a comment from you guys. Yum said Elise, you two have the same hair color. This is from when Tommy Palm was on the show, um, Pomeranian on Thursday. You guys have to go back and watch this if you didn't see it. The Tumblr Pomeranian hosted the show with me. So cute. And we do have kind of similar hair, but we don't have the same like essence. He's like little and sprightly. And I did find a dog recently who I think is my doppelganger dog. I have a picture, can we show them that? That dog, see? I looked at the dog and I was like, something is familiar about you. And I was like, oh, you're me in dog form. We had the same look, we cocked our head. It's, see, do you see what I'm seeing? Yeah, so that's my doppelganger dog. Um, and now we're gonna do, uh, I went to a wedding last night, just so you guys know, I'm, I'm here this morning. We'll just go to the end of this here at June. Yeah, so I'm talking to, we're just gonna, we're gonna be with you guys and uh, I'm gonna eat this, okay. Basically, I'm here as promised. I came from this wedding. I'm a little bit hungover and a little bit sore from all this white girl to wedding dancing that I did. I'm on top of it though. I'm here. I have had plenty of cereal this morning. We're just gonna keep going. Um, and today is Monday, and I'm really excited to be here and talk to you about that. And Mondays aren't, they're manic Mondays. 
um, but they're also McMahon Mondays. So that's like the same thing. So do you know? Do you know what I mean? If you don't know what I mean by that, then here's a brand new McMahon with mega compliments. Sometimes you need to shout at people for them to know just how awesome they are. Great intro, Steve. Good job, bro. You're great. You are so great. Ladies, you're being great nannies today. I'm sure those kids love you. Great pink socks you're wearing today, and that dog looks like it needs a meal. I'll buy you socks, maybe a hot dog. Thank you for stopping. You are a worthwhile individual. Your daughter's beautiful. You're a biracial couple. You're amazing. It's obvious that you're doing a good job by yourself. Just keep doing it. I'm sure you got a decent score on your SATs. People will always respect you and take care of you based on the kindness I can see in your eyes, even though you're wearing sunglasses. Is this your daughter? Is he a good daddy? He looks like a good daddy. Does he buy you dollies? Lollipops? Gorgonzola? You're doing a great job in there. A great job in there. Keep doing drywall. Hey, bro. Great box, man. Hey, enjoy that sandwich. Oh, it feels so good. Don't stop. Hey, pink pants. Solid work. Hey, man. That's great hair. Yeah, man. I'm going to take you to the bank give you all my money. Melrose Alert, you're awesome. Color coordinated from the head to the toes. Do you think maybe you and I could have a, a small hug today? I think so. All right, come in for the real thing. I love you, man. I love you, too. Tell me, huh? tell, tell me you love me. I love you. Cool, we're back, and I'm here to talk to you. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my gosh. That's really cool. Oh, oh, you, oh, with an actual conversation, with the comments. Okay, great. Can I get a comment? This is from, um, oh, this is a tweet. This is a tweet from Zana Zober. Beth, what were you like in high school? Uh, the same. Really, I, I, I saw some pictures of myself in high school, or we were looking at, and my friends all looked different. We were laughing. It's like, look at your hair. I look the same. I like the same hair. I mean, I was dorkier, but I don't know. I'm pretty dorky now. Um, very, very similar to how I am now. Yeah, with maybe less expensive makeup, so like a little bit, like a little worse makeup. Okay, next tweet is from um, Kevin Tor. If you eat cookie crisp, oh, there we go, Kevin. You're an accessory to all the crime perpetrated by the cookie cri crisp robber. Is that true? I mean, I've never, I've never had cookie crisp, so I'm not. No, I'm, I'm fine there. There's no cookie crisp here, so I'm good to go. I've never, I've never been involved in that, that ring of crime. Never. Those are cookies, by the way. That's not breakfast. This is breakfast. You guys, I would love to share this with you. It's too bad. And need, I would give you some, but there's no extra spoon, so. Mm. Another comment it was from Setux. Beth, you like Game of Thrones? And then this face, which is great because I just put a thing in my mouth, which is um, this. Uh, put it to the side. Anyway, I love Game of Thrones. I love it so much. Are you, t are you joking? I really love it. Um, I got on board a little bit late and I started watching it one afternoon. I was like, I should catch up on this. Hold on. That's better, Beth. I was like, I'm going to catch up on this right now. And I was going to spend a while and just watch season one kind of leisurely. And uh, I didn't leave my, my apartment that whole weekend. And I watched all of season one and caught up on what I missed of season two. I haven't read the books. I, and I should and I will. Um, but I've, I've watched all of season one and season two in about a matter of three days. And I'm on board majorly. Dragons, I want them on my shoulders. Next comment is from Shadown Chrissy, my first live stream. Hello, Shadow and Chrissy. Like how I said it, Shadown. That's what happens on live TV. I'm gonna mispronounce your name. I'm gonna do it like crazy with everybody. I'm really bad at it. Uh, but also, it's exciting, right? It's interesting. And uh, we're just breaking new ground here. And welcome. Thank you for coming. Next comment is from Moshimoda. Beth, you are so hot. Date with me. And then, fantastic. I, I enjoy, um, you know, a lot of things. If you could find a cereal bar that has like, a, if we could like put a gin martini with olives and then somehow make that taste good with cereal, like a cereal bar, see so like a cereal bar and then some martini bar, that's, call me and I'm in, I'm totally in for that. Sounds great. So, so it's a date, it's a date? Did we just, did I just get a date? <laughs> I don't know what I'm aware, but um, that's really exciting. I'm excited for us. 
Next comment is from um, Kissing Sinners. Oh, boy. Anchovy fail. You have to use a can opener now. Next, open a wine glass with a screw and a pair of pliers. So that's from this last Tuesday did a haul, and I had some anchovies, and I, the, the, the cap fell off before I could um, open it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, is that motion letting you know? What is that called with the top of a soup can when you can... You know what I'm talking about. I'm turning to my mom right now. Anyway, speaking of getting a screw cap wine like that, I did that. The other night I wanted a glass of wine and I had this screw cap bottle at home. It was a really cheap bottle, but I was like, I'll just have one glass and go to bed. And I went to open it. It was very tight. I tried it again. Very, very tight. And then I'm like, I'm a strong person. Really went for it. Got my roommate, she's going for it. We got a knife and cut around it. I think it was a trick wine bottle and it was like super glued and it was just like, it was basically saying like, are you pathetic? This wine bottle was so cheap, just let it go. And I didn't even want the wine anymore. I was like, I'm gonna go to bed now. But I really just, I had to open this thing for myself. I think we have a picture. I took a picture of what I did do. Yep, I used a knife and then a corkscrew and then I like shot off the top of that and poured myself a nice glass of that red wine and it was the worst wine I have ever tasted. So I spit that out and uh, I went to bed, but uh, I felt better that I had you know, gotten that open. Next comment is from SNS Predator Z. Beth, what's your favorite ice cream topping? I like vanilla ice cream with Oreos on it. I am so with you on that. Before I read what your answer was, I was gonna say that. I like to add some peanut butter, but I love vanilla ice cream. It has to be good though, like vanilla bean. This, there's good and there's, there's good and there's okay vanilla ice cream. You know, but that's with Oreos is, yeah, I'm on board. I like that. We have similar taste. Up next is a comment from Pawnee Goddess. Hi, Pawnee. For Beth, how was working on the set of Bachelorette? It was amazing. Um, the first day on set, I think if I told you guys, it was really cool. I had some lines. I met Will Ferrell out of my own trailer. And then, um, then the rest of those lines got cut. And I was in the set every day for about 16 hours in this background. Uh, it was really fun. I got to fake drink a lot and uh, talk to a lot of interesting people, like pretending like I was acting and really just like chatting about every, any kind of small talk that possibly can go through your mind. And then after five days of 16 hours of small talk, you, your, your actual mouth gets smaller because you, it's just everything is smaller. Also, Pawnee, guess what? I know you like dinosaurs in the set and I got this gift um, isn't this so cool? We got this this weekend um, from someone that went to an art fair. It is a dinosaur made out of a soda can and some very creative stapling. Isn't that so cool? So I love it and it's gonna live on the set and um, I'd love you guys to send me stuff like that to put on the set and we will do that and I will highlight it and I would love it if you sent like instructions if it's a craft because then maybe I can try and make it. I like crafts. Uh, send, send ideas to my Twitter or we'll, we'll work it out via Twitter. Let's do that. Another comment is from um, Sycamore Hill 14. Will you be adding bacon to your cereal? Sycamore, you're getting really serious here. I never thought about that. I'm thinking about it right now. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, like, I'm all on board indulging and like wrong things together. I'm adding bacon to a lot of things, but I don't. I don't think I would. I'd eat it on the side, but I don't think. I think the answer is no. It's a real honest. You know, I don't think, not this time. Next comment is from um, Sup101. Beth, what's that teeny blue skull thingy hanging on the wall behind you? Teeny green blue, this one, this isn't teeny. No, the greeny, I hear, you know, which one? This, no, the little skull, what's happening? This, yes, that's not teeny. This is huge, and this is uh, well, the old breed of, of um, this is a, an old woolly mammoth. Their skeletons are turquoise. Uh, I was just so confused with the teeny because, because you know, I'm picturing the woolly mammoth, the body behind it, and it is huge. And so we're very lucky to have this on our set. So you know, a lot of old things, you know, a, little, a lot of old things, a lot of new things. We really just combine it all, and this is just a reminder of the world that, that we live on, and then we have all kinds of things. Greeny blue skull thing. Yeah, I get it. I read it wrong and then just was totally misinterpreting all that for the last five minutes. Greeny blue. Yeah. But you can see why I was confused, right? Next comment. Uh, makeup by Carr and Kate. I feel like Beth probably can't hold her liquor. Hmm. 
I'm holding it right now, you guys. I went to a wedding last night in Massachusetts. I took this bus this morning. Uh, I'm holding it right now. So, and I can't, I'm from Wisconsin. Is this a challenge? What is that? Give me a, sh I need, give me a bottle and a shot glass, just a pitcher. I'll just, I'll do that. <laughs> um, next comment, I can't, I can't. It's from Beth Ish. What is your Beth short for? I'm a member of the, I'm an Elizabeth who goes by Beth family. Apparently that's unheard of. I'm of that same family. I am an Elizabeth. Um, I don't think that's unheard of, but you know, you and I are, and I think plenty more. I was Elizabeth for a while. I tried to be, I tried to like be adult when I was like 18. I think I was like, I'm gonna go by Elizabeth. And it just seemed to take so long, right? Is that why you're a Beth? Cause it's just like, just stop, it's Beth. Just don't go into all of that. So I stopped that, but it is regal. Maybe I should think about that I would maybe act differently if I was Elizabeth. That wouldn't really work for this show. I better, for the sake of the show, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay Beth. Next comment is from um, Dopey Veg. The Lion King, you brought so many memories back to me. I played it on uh, Super Nintendo, what a time. Yeah, I talked about that last week. I played with my friend, we played on Sega and uh, we never got past the waterfall level of Akuna Tata, never got to see Simba grow into the, the grown Simba that he can be, the grown lion, um, but that was so much fun. Oh man, Lion King was a great game. I played on Super Nintendo, I played a lot of live NBA 95, it was my brother's game. And I, I was always Reggie Miller because he's like a light-skinned black version of my brother. I was young. I was just like, I'll pick him. I don't. That's what I did on Super. That's what memory for me. You guys, I'm about to turn into a pumpkin, and I've got some work to do here uh, with this cereal before it gets all soggy. So I think that's it for today. Thank you for bearing with me. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in and for being so inquisitive and fun. I really love this. I'll see you tomorrow. I think I might call my mom. Oh, also, this happened at the wedding. I broke the screen, can you tell? That happened, so that was cool. That, awesome. Um, so subscribe because we have a really big show on Wednesday with W. Kamal Bell and Billy Grace is back on Thursday. Awesome. Thanks for coming, Asta Pasta.